what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have that a volleyball can be modeled as a non stretchable but flexible spherical envelope of mass m and radius r filled with excess air pressure del p and the excess pressure remains unchanged with small deformation in the volleyball so basically it is a question of small oscillation when it strikes some rigid surface mass of the air inside the volleyball can be neglected if such a volleyball strikes a rigid wall and bounces back without losing speed how long will the ball remain in contact with the wall so, okay so this is a very simple question so let me first draw diagrams of the ball diagram of the ball for three situations let this be the wall first when the ball just strikes the wall second when the ball gets totally compressed by the wall okay and the third one will be identical to the first one but the direction of the velocity of the ball will be in the towards left okay so i am more interested in the second situation in this situation let x be the compression of the ball let this be the center this the radius capital r and this one will be capital r minus small x okay so the net force that is being applied on the ball by the wall will be equal to the excess pressure into this cross sectional area so it will be a circular area of radius small r that will be pi into small r square and if you see the triangle here it is small r capital r and this one is capital r minus x so small r square will be capital r square minus capital r minus small x square so taking r square common we get this one and as we know that uh, x is very much smaller than r so there we can take a binomial approximation 2x by r so the final equation looks like this pi r times 2 into x now if you compare this with a regular equation of the force expression of the force for simple harmonic motion so we get k equivalent times x okay now if we consider that this spherical ball is performing a simple harmonic motion then from this situation to this situation the ball takes half of the time period the contact time of the ball and the wall is nothing but half of the total time period so time of contact will be half of the total time period and we know that the formula for time period is 2 pi root over m divided by k equivalent and the final answer will be root over pi m by 2 del p times r so this will be our answer I hope you all have found this video helpful. Thank you.